guys, my name is Chelsea Bartlow. I went to um, Hemfield Area Senior High School and I ran cross country for WCCC in 2017 and 2018. And both years we went to nationals. Um, I just want to say congratulations, first of all, on all of your accomplishments. You guys have made the school and all of us former runners so proud. It is so amazing watching your journey. And I just wanted to say good luck. You guys are gonna do fantastic. And I am so proud of all of you. Hey there, ladies. My name is Matthew Jenkins. I went to Franklin Regional High School and ran for WCCC Cross Country 2016 and 17, making it to nationals both years. Uh, first off, I wanna say congratulations. You guys have worked so incredibly hard to get to where you're at and you should be very, very proud of yourselves. All season long, you guys ran as a team, and being ranked number two in the country is definitely no small feat, so you should be very proud of yourselves. Now that you have a chance to show the country just what the Wolfpack ladies team can do, definitely take it. If I can give you guys any advice, uh, just based on my experience, whether this is your first season or your last season with the team, is to make sure you take everything in. Run this race fast, run it hard, but take it slow. Remember every step, every pebble, every stick. Because If you're like my team, every prank you pulled on your coach. Um, because those are going to be your biggest and most cherished memories when it's all said and done. Most importantly, though, enjoy this race. You worked so hard to get here, no matter what the outcome of it is. Be insanely, insanely proud of yourselves. This is not an easy sport. It is not an easy thing to make it to nationals, and you guys did it. And you did it being ranked number two in the country. Enjoy your time. Enjoy the memories. You got to be a part of an amazing team with an even more amazing coach. Good luck, and have a great race. Hi, my name is Nellie Poole. I graduated from Greater Lake Trove High School in 2017. And that same year, I went to WCCC, ran on the cross country team for one year, and that year we went to nationals. And my message to all of you is to just have fun and don't stress about your goals because you've already made it to nationals. And think good thoughts and you will fly. My name is Kristen Eccles. At the time, my maiden name was Cronin. I went to Laurel Valley High School and I ran for WCCC and went to nationals during the 2012-2013 year. I just want to say I am very proud of the girls team this year. As an alumni, it is really, really nice to know that you guys have made it in the top two in the country. That is something to be extremely proud of, and your teamwork and dedication have really paid off since you're going to nationals. A little inspiration and motivation that I can give you is to stay hydrated. Don't drink orange juice before the meet. You can ask Coach about that story. And also to run. Don't stop and keep going. Remember, ladies, bring it home. Hi, my name is Tori. I went to Greater Lake Trobe High School and I ran at WCCC in 2012, which makes me feel very old. Um, but I won our regional meet and went to nationals. And I think it's completely amazing that you girls have made it as a team. Um, I just makes me feel proud to have run there. So just continue to work together. Leave everything you have on the course and kick some ass. Good luck, girls. Hi, guys. Regis P. Carr here. Hempfield Area High School alumni, WCCC Cross Country alumni 2016 and 2017. I was very honored, very blessed to be able to attend and run uh, at the national championship level both years I uh, ran at WCCC. Um, two of the best years of my life. Would do it over all again in a heartbeat. Miss those teams so much. Um, 2016 in particular was a special year for us because it was the first time in school history we ever qualified for the national championship. So that was very special. Um, but from what I understand, you guys this weekend have a opportunity to do something even greater, and that's bring home a national championship, which is crazy awesome. You guys deserve it. You guys have worked hard all season. I have no doubt in my mind that you guys can get it done. Just run your hardest, leave it all on the course, and the results will show, I promise you. I'll be repping my Wolfpack gear all weekend for you guys. I'm rooting for you, and I'll be anxious to see how you guys do. Uh, best of luck to you, and uh, let's bring her home.
Hi guys, my name is Megan. I just wanted to say congratulations on making it to nationals. That is such an amazing accomplishment. Um, not everyone can say that, you know, they ran at the national level for um, their cross country team. Uh, a little bit about myself. I went to Lake Trip High School, graduated in 2017. Um, I went to three C's, graduated in uh, 2019 with an associates in nutrition. Um, I ran on the cross country team there 2017, 2018, um, went to nationals in um, Holyoke, Massachusetts. This is something you know you're always going to remember for the rest of your life. So enjoy this. If this is your last race ever, just take it all in and enjoy, you know, that time you've had you that time competing and just enjoying what you're doing and that relationship building with your teammates and your coach. Um, I ran cross country for eight years in a row. I ran um, whole way from seventh grade to uh, 12th grade in high school. And then I ran um, my freshman and sophomore year at community college. And honestly, running is like one of the greatest things I've ever did for myself, even though I did it forever and um, haven't really ran the last two years, but um, running has been a big part of my life. So again, congratulations and good luck. Hey ladies, I just wanted to say congratulations. I know you guys have been ranked number two in the uh, country all season um, and you're going to nationals tomorrow. As a former cross country runner, the first thing I wanna say is uh, thanks for keeping up the tradition of keeping the team going to nationals. But more importantly, I know how hard that was for you guys to get there. I know how hard it is to even be placed where you're placed. Um, maybe tomorrow you'll be able to pull off uh, that W and get yourself into first place. But regardless, you guys should be absolutely proud of where you're at. All of that hard work um, tomorrow, it's finally paying off. So just congratulations from all of us former runners. final in the 800 at the Outdoor ACC Championships and looked really great in the heats and as a contender today is, uh, speaks a lot. Anna Green is a three-time 800 meter indoor champion. She was the 2016 outdoor champion in this event. The ACC runner-up in 2015 looking for her fifth ACC champion. I should say six. She's already added one today with the uh, run in the 1500 so this could be a special way to cap off what has been an incredible career for Hannah Green. Runners get to the start. And the 800 meters is off. Keep an eye on Green. As Amy mentioned, she loves to jump out to that early lead. Amy Rudolph back in the broadcast booth with us. National champion with Providence, two-time Olympian to break down these distance races. Cop right out front. No surprise with Green. You see Harris start to usher her way in. Yep, here comes Hannah. Uh, everybody just sort of looks for her to do that, and they let her do it. Um, and Kopp is matching her. And not afraid to get up there and put her nose in. It's great. Madeline Kopp, a senior. Your early leader, the front straightaway of the first lap. Hannah Green in good position on the inside of lane one. Virginia Tech sitting third. Here come the Fighting Irish's Jesse Harris as Harris starts to make a move as they enter the second lap. Four girls in that pack heading into the bell. At this moment, it's anybody's race. Hannah Green still dominating. See a little bit of contact there as Cop tries to work around Hannah Green. Madeline Cop has great sprint speed. Keep that in mind. She does, and she is going to have to, when she makes a move, make sure she can make it all the way home because Hannah Green is strong. She has that 1,500 meter advantage. Green continues to hold the edge. Hannah Green trying to pull away a little bit. Cop and Pokratsky. Chalky in for position in that number two spot as they enter the final turn and into the straightaway. And like we've seen so many times through the years, Hannah Green with that ACC championship kick. It's Green pulling away from Virginia Tech. Hannah Green across the line. 201. 28. Wow, she came out and made a huge statement with that run. She led from gun to tape. She dictated the race. 
Raven Rogers, nine Diamond League appearances, no victories. Could that streak end in her 10th race here in Paris? She's going out very quickly. Raven Rogers, third from right. Chanel Price, the pacer early. What a comeback for her it has been after some really difficult health issues and injuries over the past couple of years. Yeah, found some uh, blood clots, and she was dealing with those. But uh, to your point, thrilled to see her back. She's a world indoor champion and a front runner, which has made her transition to a pace setter seem very easy. Rogers right behind her. Looks like she may want to take this one from the start as she pursues her first ever Diamond League win. Raven Rogers ahead of Jeff Koske and Mitchell. And let's watch the patience here for Hannah Green. Again, in that green singlet from the Oregon Track Club. Well back of the leaders right now, but a hot pace for this first 400, which was supposed to come through in just about 55 and a half seconds. They come through in 55.6. Rogers, Jeff Koske. Now it's Rogers in front. Jeff Koske second, Mitchell third, Lamont still running well in pursuit of that Doha standard time. Hannah Green all the way back in seventh for the United States. Rogers looking strong. Nine tries in the Diamond League so far. She's come up empty in her tenth start. She still leads with Ghoul moving into second. Well, watch Green here now. She's waiting patiently and now has found another gear and is now into the top five and Rogers looks like she's struggling a little bit. Raven Rogers ahead of Natoya Ghoul. Hannah Green has picked her way up into fourth place. She is still coming. Rogers leads. Ghoul in second. Here comes Hannah Green surging to the outside. She looks like she has something left. Ghoul and Green leave Rogers behind. Hannah Green, the American, with a win on the Diamond League circuit. Well, how about that show of pain? Hey, girls. Congrats on the awesome season you've been having so far. It's so awesome to see other runners from the area doing really well. You guys should all be super proud of yourselves for working so hard to get here. If I could offer any advice for your race, I would say to relax and enjoy the experience. I know some of my best races have been when I chilled out and just kind of did what I was there to do. You put in all the work and now it's time to have fun. So I wish you all good luck and go out there and show everyone what the WCCC Women's Cross Country can do. Good luck, guys.